Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We are here joined by Shemi Ojale. Uh, Shemi, what is the this summer entailed for you? You guys are getting ready for training camp tomorrow, regular season just around the corner. But what was kind of the off season like? Uh, really, first half is kind of just getting away, taking a little break, um, decompressing from last year. And then uh, the rest was just getting ready. I mean, getting my, my body ready, my mind ready, and, and working on my skills, you know, just trying to you know, take advantage of this opportunity with this new team. You're now entering your, your third season mm -hmm. with the Celtics. Where would you say has maybe been the biggest area of growth for you coming in? Uh, I think just my mind, you know, just understanding where I need to be aggressive and understanding, you know, it's my, my third year and being more comfortable out there. So, um, you know, going from a rookie and not knowing what to expect to now, you know, knowing what, what's coming out, what training camp's going to be like, what media day is going to be like, it's just more comfortable overall. You mentioned um, just how things have changed mm -hmm. for you mentally. I know that this off season, that's mm -hmm. something that you said that you've worked on mm -hmm. as well, just mm -hmm. having that confidence mm -hmm. and knowing that when you go out there to trust yourself. Mm -hmm. What what did that entail for you? Um, just whenever we were playing, to work with my trainers, everything was just getting up more shots. So being aggressive, almost almost forcing the issue, I would say, um, for me, you know, because I try to be patient, try to let it come to me. but. At this point, I think I just need to you know, go out there and, and trust myself, like you said, and uh, be as aggressive as possible, almost to the point where it's over-aggressive so that I can you know, see where my spots are and learn from those mistakes. You have a real opportunity this mm -hmm. season to get that consistent playing mm -hmm. time, that valuable playing time. How much are you thinking about that, mm -hmm. or is that just something that you're kind of putting in the back of your mind for now? I mean, I know it's there. Um, you know, even my rookie year, I was trying to, you know, trying to see if I could get more playing time every day. So I think if I focus on every day getting better and being aggressive, then you know, everything will fall in place as far as you know, playing time. You mentioned your rookie season. Mm -hmm. You really made a name for yourself when you went up against Giannis Antetokounmpo with just your size and your strength. Mm -hmm. How often, Shemi, do you look back at that moment? Do you use it as motivation at all or, or knowing, hey, you know what? I was able to hang with one of the best players mm -hmm. in the league. I mean, it was a it was a great start for me. I mean, I didn't know the opportunity was coming, but you know, I tried to prepare, and you know, when it came, you know, it helped me out to to really establish myself a little bit um, as a defender. So, you know, I think uh, it's just one of the things I tell the young guys coming in now that if you prepare, then the opportunity's mm -hmm. coming, and you don't know when it is. How do you stay ready? Um, I think the biggest thing is you know using every day as a as a day to get better, not wasting days, whether it's an off day, whether it's a day we're lifting or shooting or conditioning, just trying to make sure I cover all the bases. So, you know, when the time comes, uh, I know I put in all the work. One of the things that your teammates have often said about you is just your size and your strength. Mm -hmm. Marcus Smart said, you're just as strong as an ox. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been working on this off season right. to just continue to stay in shape? Mm -hmm. and, and what does your workout routine consist of? Um, and we still, I've still been trying to, you know, continue with that strength and work on you know, staying strong, but I think the biggest thing for me is conditioning, you know, being able to go harder for longer and, and stay, you know, at 100% while I'm on the court at all times. Um, I think I've seen the best guys in the league be able to just play at 100% for, you know, the entire game, and that's something that when you can get to that level, that's when you become a, a great player. We have some fan questions, and if for those of you who are at home watching, make sure that you join in on the conversation on Twitter using hashtag Celtics Media Day. I promise I will try to get to all of them, but we have uh, Howard Johnson who wants to know who has best the sense best of sense of humor on, on the, the team. team right now. Uh, definitely Grant. Uh, Grant's nonstop, doesn't stop talking. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure um, at some point in the year it'll get a little irritating, but for right now he's, he's funny. <laughs> you know, I, I could have told you that, though. I, just from the interviews that we've had so oh, no far, question. he kind of just seems like he's he's a jokester. No question. No question. Nonstop, like almost, almost Goofy. too much. Yeah. Goofy, yeah. too. Yeah. Do you have to put him in his place at all, or do you think you might have to? For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just for you too, um, what what are your um, expectations for yourself? Mm -hmm. Goals, not only individually, mm -hmm. but also for uh, team goals mm -hmm. as you guys head into training camp tomorrow. Um, I think the biggest thing Coach talked about was just you know staying the course together. Whatever you do, doing it together. And and for me, just knowing that you know there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, and to know that they're going to be there. I mean, regardless of you know whether it's my third year or not, I'm going to have good times or have bad times, and just realizing that if I can stay even get out of the lows quicker and try to you know, maintain the highs and I'll have a, a better season. You mentioned the highs and lows and obviously that was something that didn't go exactly as planned right, last right. season and, and falling short of the expectations. Mm -hmm. What do you take from a year like that and, and maybe some of the lessons that you learned along the way? 
Uh, I think it's just the importance of having a, a team, you know, trying to maintain a relationship with every guy on the team and see where everybody's at because at some point you're going to need every single guy on the team. So the more you can have a, a strong bond with your teammates, with your coaches, you know, through and through with the staff, even with the management, you know, have a better, you know, year overall. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it and looking forward to covering you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, everyone, don't go anywhere. We will have Robert Williams joining us next.